Welcome back. Tom Homan. Border Patrol agents, ICE. This is law enforcement. This is federal law enforcement. And the Democrat Party doesn't like federal law enforcement unless it's protecting them. Otherwise, they don't seem to give a damn. Federal law enforcement on the border is there to protect the citizens of the United States. Nobody ever asked this question, so I'll ask you. What's life like for a Border Patrol agent or an ICE agent today? Well, I, I, like I said, I wore both those uniforms. I was a Border Patrol agent. I was an ICE agent for many years. I can tell you right now, I've talked to hundreds of them, and their morale's never been worse. Down on the border, I've been at the border four times in the last two months, and these men and women, I tell you right now, they've lost total respect in the President of the United States, which, which, is, which is sad, and they lost respect in the Secretary of Homeland Security. Why? Because the Secretary, to this day, will say the border's secure and closed, and these men and women are dealing with this crisis every day, putting themselves in harm's way, and their Secretary won't recognize that. And the second thing, the President, during one of his first speeches, accused the last administration of watching children starve, starve to death on, on the riverbanks of Rio Grande. This is the men and women of the Border Patrol. The men and women put their lives on the line every day. The men and women who saved over uh, 7,000 lives already this year by pulling people out of the river, uh, saving people in the desert. These men and women save lives, Mr. President. They don't watch people starve to death on real banks. So they've lost respect. They've been abandoned by their own commander-in-chief and their secretary. That's what it's like. And let me tell you something else. We we were talking about COVID a uh, a few minutes ago. Over 20 CBP officers have died from COVID. So it's just not gunshots really? and, and high-speed chases and fights. They've died from COVID from people coming across that border that's been infected. That's just, and that's a fact. As far as ICE, I spent over 20 years as an ICE agent. ICE morale is in the toilet because they can no longer do their job and uphold the oath they took. And one thing I want, it, it, the Biden administration said, okay, we only can arrest illegal aliens that have convicted, convicted of serious aggravated felonies. We need to prioritize what you do. Let's be clear. In the last five or six years, 91% of everybody ICE arrested was a convicted criminal or pending criminal charges. That's pretty good prioritization. And for the president and the secretary to say, we got to cut those even further because of lack of resources. Let me throw this number out yet. In FY12, ICE arrested and removed 409,000 people. They're going to remove and arrest less than 100,000 this year. So they're doing 25% of the work. Where's the lack of resources? Let these men and women do their job. They, 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 they protect the American communities. They're not allowed to do that. And, and here's a sad thing that I've never thought I would say in my lifetime. An ICE agent, an immigration officer, can no longer arrest somebody for simply being here illegally. That's not a priority anymore. Being in the country illegally is not illegal in the eyes of the Biden administration. So effectively what you're saying, Tom Homan, is... Maybe they haven't defunded ICE or defunded the Border Patrol, but the way they've conducted themselves, they effectively have done that through the back door. So we still have the Border Patrol, we still have ICE, but their hands are tied, the policies are, are outrageous, uh, they're open border policies, and that basically federal law enforcement, when it comes to the border, can't do its job, people are pouring over, we're being overwhelmed, and that's exactly what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want. And that's exactly why they don't go down to uh, uh, McAllen, Texas, and some of these other areas where it's really overwhelming. Because they know what their policies are doing. They don't need to go see what their policies are doing. Do you agree with me? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, they may not mm-hmm. abolish the agencies, but they have taken their authority away. There's no longer enforcement of our, our immigration laws on the border or in the interior. And uh, the Department of Justice where INS, we used to call it, used to be housed, they act like they don't have any power whatsoever. They have all kinds of power. That's federal law enforcement. They have the power to prosecute or not to prosecute. And obviously, the Department of Justice and the Attorney General of the United States, well, they want nothing to do with this either. So it would be complete failure of the federal government. The border is supposed to be controlled by the federal government. We have some patriotic, courageous governors who are trying to do anything they can to protect the board and protect their citizenry and indirectly protect the citizenry of these other countries. While Joe Biden sits there, stands there, doesn't want to see, go to the border, really has ice water in his veins and doesn't really seem to give a damn about what's going on. Look, this was your life. You wake up, you watch this president speak, you must say to yourself, this guy is unbelievable. He doesn't even act like anything's going on in the border, does he? I'll say it again. Under President Trump, we had the most secure border in my lifetime. And now we have the most vulnerable border in my lifetime under President Biden. I want to thank you in particular and all the men and women on the border, all the men and women in ICE. I want to thank them for everything they're doing. And I want to apologize on behalf of the American people. 
for this absolutely useless administration that we have. Thank you, Tom, and God bless you. Thank you, sir.